Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vadu Jobova and Maksat Atabayev. This is a game from World Rapid Chess Championship played in Qatar in 2016. Vadu Jobova had white pieces and he started with e4. c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4. Knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending and now a6, neither of variation. Bishop to g5, knight from b to d7, queen to e2, white is intending to castle queenside. Page 6, attacking the bishop, bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop, and Badu Jobova castle at queenside. Queen to c7, f4, e6, g3, intending bishop to g2, bishop to e7, bishop to g2, bishop to d7, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? Hmm? The Jobova played e5. It makes sense to open the files, doesn't it? d takes on e5, f takes on e5, attacking the knight, knight to h7, king to b1 to avoid the possible surprise checks, Rook to c8, h4, b5, the pawn storm on the queen side, rook from h to f1, and now b4, attacking the knight. This is the critical position of the game. White to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Find this brilliant knight to e4 move. If you did, no congratulations. Because after castling, black is okay. So what is the move then? Badur Jobova played knight to d5, sacrificing the knight. And now castling is out of question because knight takes bishop check. So Maxata Tabayeva captured the knight. Now it's time for white to reap the benefits and sacrifice the knight. How? <laughs> what was the purpose of this knight sacrifice? What would you do? Please pause the video again and find the best move for white. What did you find? Badur Chabua sacrificed the second piece. Rook takes on f7, incredible chess. King takes rook. Bishop takes on d5 check. King to e8. White sacrificed two pieces. Get to this position. Why? How would you continue? Badur Jobova played the queen to h5 check. King to d8. Obviously, if king goes to f8, queen to f7 checkmate. King to d8. Why to move? Your move, how would you continue? The job of a played knight to e6, check. Bishop takes knight is the only move. Bishop takes bishop, discover check. Bishop to d6, rook takes bishop, check. And what now? Queen takes rook was played. If king goes to e7, then queen to f7, checkmate. Queen takes rook. Pawn takes a queen. Rook to f8. Black has two rooks for the queen and knight against the bishop. But the problem is the safety of black's king. Isn't it? White to move. White played a move. And black resigned. The move is queen to a5 check magic. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to e8, queen to a4, check. King to d8, queen to d7, check. Mate. Fantastic attack. Let's go back to this very interesting moments of the game. This is the first moment when the knight is under attack. First move, knight to d5. And then after pawn takes knight, we have another Peace sacrifice, Brilliant chess. What do you think of this game? And that is all. 
I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your tests and bye for now.